is Myra Almaraz, and I teach Ethnic Studies and Latin American History at Taft High School, which is located on the far northwest side of Chicago. So in this neighborhood, you will find a lot of teachers, a lot of police officers, and a lot of firefighters who live in this community. So a lot of our students are uh, related to a lot of our city workers. Fairness is something that is really important to me. And um, since I was little, I think I've always been in tune to inequalities. Um, and to me, teaching is a great way to ensure that we have equity in our society. And I think having great teachers helps uh, ensure that there's equity. So um, who inspires me in the classroom are my parents and my brothers and sisters. Um, I'm the youngest of 10, um, which means that when there are 10 siblings in the house, there's a lot of sacrifices that you need to make. When my uh, siblings talk about some of the struggles that they had in school, I, I, I kind of see my students in them. You know, I, I think about the student who is a newly arrived immigrant, or I think about the student who works, or I think about the student who doesn't speak English very well. And I think about, you know, uh, this is my way of kind of paying them back. I think students understand that the purpose of ethnic studies is truly for us to find connections with each other. And I think it's important for them to see that um, most human beings really do want to connect with each other. And that when we don't, it's because it's lack of communication or there's something that's holding us back. I think it's really important that our students learn, and, I, and I've said it before, that if you want to progress as a society, if you want to improve as a society, you have to be willing to examine systems. You know, I use my profession as an example all the time. Um, we're not perfect. I'm part of a system. I'm part of a large uh, public school system. Um, if we didn't, you know, allow for people to check what we're doing right and what we need to improve on, we would never improve. Um, once they see that checking systems doesn't mean that you're anti-something, I think they start to understand that it's okay. I think one of my favorite things about being in her class is that she cares about our voice and what we have to say and she always tells us that our story matters and our identity does too and that's important. Yeah, she's taught us all to be really com like confident in who we are and with our own identities. One of the most important things I've learned from Ms. Almaraz is first of all to challenge myself and to think about every single answer and both sides because if you don't, you really don't know the topic and she's definitely helped me understand that. She's nurtured our thoughts and our talents in and outside the classroom and she's just been a really good uh, influence on all of us. She really cares about her students and she really sculpts her students to become critical thinkers and she always encourages us to um, dig deeper and to look broader than the above the surface and I think that's really important. She's an outstanding educator and when I, when I say outstanding educator she brings other, the way I describe that is, if you're teaching English, you're not just teaching English. You're a master teacher where you're bringing other subjects into your classroom. So it might be poetry, it may be business, it may be economics, it may be history, it may be reading. So that's what I consider an outstanding teacher. She's knowledgeable. Um, I wish I had a school full of Miss Almarez's. Um, we would be the best school in the nation. Something that's so key when you teach about something that's so difficult. You know, you need to understand that these conversations are difficult for many different students for a number of reasons. And if you create the space where you're going to be validated for, for what you're feeling, I think it makes the conversation about difficult topics a little bit easier. My students whose parents are police officers, um, they struggle. You know, they struggle with these conversations and, and they, they've openly shared it with us. And I think it's, it's equally important to, to hear that voice um, because we all deserve to be heard. Um, you know, my students who, who have very different experiences with police also want to have the opportunity to share that. And I think something powerful happens when you hear different stories, when you hear other people's realities. And, and, and if we can do that with adults, that would be key. Um, and I feel like our students, I mean, it's happening in, in my classroom. And I think, you know, our students are modeling what, what we need to do in, in society. And that's have those conversations, be open about what you're feeling. Um, and then, you know, 
Reconciliation begins with truth. Be truthful about what it is that we've done in this country, and then we can start talking about how to improve it.